Very excited to talk to him for the very first time. Hey, bud, how are you? No, oh, no problem. Please have a seat. Here's your microphone. Hell yeah. It's great to meet you. How are you? It's great to meet you as well. I'm man. Ariel. I'm good. You, you say it again? My name is Ariel. Ariel, that's a really cool name, man. Thank that's you. It's like cool the Little Mermaid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Javon, so. Nice, to, nice meet to meet you. A uh, lot to talk to you about. I'm very excited to have you on here. Uh, before we get into everything, I just want to send you my condolences over the loss that you and the whole Euphoria team suffered. I'm very sorry to hear about all that, and I hope you're doing okay. Yeah, yeah I, I appreciate that, man. You know, like, it was all really, really hard for us. Um, we all had like such a deep connection with him, you know, and he was just like the nicest guy ever. So, you know, to see him go, that that hurt. But um, I, I hope he's, you know, I, I hope he's um, in a better life right now, and I, ho I hope he's okay, you know. Thank you very much for saying that. Um, wow, what a couple of weeks for you, my friend. You just signed with Most Valuable Promotions. You're the youngest athlete signed by the Jordan brand, I'm told. You're a massive actor in terms of that world. You're a big star. You're a rising star in the world of boxing. Could I ask? How the hell did all this happen to you? How did you become a star in both worlds where everyone's talking about you? Was it's, this the goal or did it kind of just evolve over you know, time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the goal originally was just boxing, right? I've been boxing for um, 13 years of my life and like that's what I love, that's what I do, you know? Um, and you know, this acting stuff came from boxing actually. I was on the Steve Harvey show uh, for boxing and a casting director called after the show and was wondering if I was interested in like trying acting, right? And you know, I did that project, but like my priority now is boxing. Like that's where my heart is. I have 85 amateur bouts and like that's what I think I do best. So, so are you done acting? Um, for now, for now, I'm definitely taking a step back and just focusing on boxing. You know, I wanna, I gotta do what I love at the end of the day. Okay, can you not do both? It's hard to do both. It's hard to do both. Um, eventually I will, but you know, um, I'm about to go pro in a year and I really want to make a big impact on the boxing world in the beginning. Okay, so obviously you have a big following and I'm sure every promotion under the sun wanted to sign you. Why did you go with Jake Paul, Nikisa Badarian and MVP? Honestly, like, I just, I, I love the family vibes over there. You know, I like that they keep their circle tight. And um, I mean, the whole MVP family is very talented, you know. What Jake has done for women's boxing, what he's done for boxing in general is just unheard of, right? And you know, uh, Ashton's a phenomenal fighter, Amanda Serrano's amazing, I mean everyone over there is amazing, you know? So I wanted to go where um, I, I knew they were going to care about me off the jump, you know? So far so good? Everything's great so far. Yeah, I mean look at the stage that you're getting here, right? Open workout, yeah, you're yeah. not even fighting on Saturday. <laughs> it's incredible. I wish I was, man. Do you? Yeah, I do. Did you I try do. to get on this card? You know, I would, but I gotta, uh, I gotta be 18. You, know? uh, you can't even so, do an amateur bout. No, not, um, not an amateur bout. I don't think you can on TV, but you know, that would have been cool. That, that would, would be, be cool. tremendous. Yeah. Okay, so your goal, when do you turn 18, by the way? I turn 18 in July, so. In I July just, of next year? Yeah, July of next year. Okay, so you got 11 months. In about 11 months, yeah. Uh, are you going to take more amateur fights between now and July? Oh, yeah. How many more can you fit in in 11 months? I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna get to 100. My goal is 100, you know, and competing at uh, the big national tournaments again and really getting my ranking up. And then, um, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be ready to go pro. Okay, now what about the Olympics? You know, I was thinking that route, but it's just like my style and what I want to accomplish in the pro game, I want to start that early on, so. Okay, so uh, Olympics are next year. That's why I was asking if you were going to yeah. consider that yeah, as well. I want to make the cutoff for that uh, just of age anyways. Okay, you know? all right, so no Olympics. And the, the hope is by next summer, you're a pro. Yes, sir. And what weight would you be at? I'm not positive. Like, I'll do a lot of growing until then. My dad's a big guy, you know. I'm only like 5'8 right now, so I'll, I'll be growing a lot. So, okay. So I'm gonna hold off on um, saying my weight for now. Ultimately, what do you think you end your career at? What weight? Like how how much bigger do you expect to get? I mean, I'd, I'd like to end you know a bit bit of heavier weights like 60, 65. Oh wow. Around there, that would be cool. Okay, yeah. so you got some time. Oh yeah. Okay. okay. By the way, speaking of uh, young H2O Silve, I'm told no Ashton anymore. He just wants to go by H2O. Really? He's going to go basically all That's, that's okay. it. Okay. He's a young gun that MVP signed. He was the youngest fighter signed by MVP until you came along. Yeah. Uh, have you seen him compete? He's very oh, yeah, impressive. Man. No, he's got mad talent. You know, I know him from the amateur game as well. He's got, you know, I mean, he, he's going to... 
He's going to be amazing, man. He's going to yeah. be amazing. He's fighting on this card on Saturday as well. Um, and so, okay, so we go pro next year. And, uh, you know, I, I, I think someone asked you that question up there, but I wasn't sure. For someone who hasn't seen you fight, who would you best compare your style to? Who have you tried to pattern yourself after? You know, I like uh, my favorite fighter is Manny Pacquiao, so I like to take a lot of what he does. You know, his in-and-out movement is beautiful, and I, I really just like his explosiveness. So I'd like to say that um, that's definitely more my style. Um, you know, I, I would describe me as a boxer puncher, so, you know, I like to get my work in and get out. So Okay. Have you ever met Manny? Have, everyone? Have you ever met Manny Pacquiao? I haven't, man. Wow. That would be awesome, though. That would be something. I was at the Crawford Spence fight last uh, yeah. week, and he was there yeah, in the yeah, front yeah. row. What a scene that was. Did you watch that fight? I did. How I, great is Terrence Crawford? Wow. You know, that, that was insane. Honestly, though, like, Bud is just, like, he's insanely good. Like, it's crazy, his skill set. I mean, he's a pound-for-pound -pound fighter right now. You know, he's... Number one. He's number one, man. You know, he's In my opinion, beat. it's him and Noah Inouye. That, number that's, two. That was my pound for right? pound right there. Both of them. Yeah. yeah. Did you see him fight up last week? Unbelievable, yeah. right? Yeah. Boxing's on fire right now. There's yeah. just every week a big fight. No, it's crazy. Like, I was just talking about that the other day. It's like, I mean, the amount of talent that there is in boxing right now is just crazy. You know, it's never been like that where there's like, everyone's good. You know, like there's no free belts right now. Right. You know? And there's undisputed fights being made. There's unification bouts. You mentioned that you started boxing at three. Your dad got you into it, right? Yeah, my, um, sort of, sort of, you know, I watched it on TV and I told him that I want to like do that at a young age, you know, and uh, when I was four, he finally took me to a gym, so. When you were four? I was four when he took me to Oh my gym. gosh. Yeah. What did your friends think when you're like boxing as a four, five, six, seven, eight year old? It's, um, <laughs> man, it's, uh, it was pretty interesting for sure, you know, it's, it's just like. I, I knew what I wanted early on, and you know, it, it's, it's hard to say that for a lot of people, so right. I knew no matter what that I was going to accomplish my goals and um, succeed at whatever I do, you know, and I'm on that path right now in the boxing world, and I'm going to make a big, big impact. It's unbelievable because you're so young, yet you're so mature, and you've accomplished so much at such a young age. Oh, man, do you feel you. like you had to make a lot of sacrifices, you know, the typical kid stuff? Did you miss parties? Did you miss going out and stuff like that because you had to wake up, you had to cut weight, you had to be in the gym on a Sunday morning? No, a thousand percent. Was that hard? A thousand percent. It's like, in, in boxing, you know, there's um, there's a lot of sacrifices you have to make if you want to be good. You know, like, this sport isn't for the weak. I, I think it's mentally the hardest sport, so definitely sacrifices um, that had to be made. But thankfully, I don't really like partying, so. You don't? Nah, I'm not a big party guy. Okay, so we don't have to worry about you doing some crazy nah, stuff man, and nah. ending up on websites and all that stuff. Uh, is your dad still training you? Yeah, he yeah, is. That's my coach. What is that like having your old man? Are you able to separate, you know, the family life and the the boxing life? Uh, yeah, yeah, you, you, you kind of have to, you know what I mean? And it's like he's coached at the highest level, so he, he knows this game very, very well. And it's like the connection I have with my dad, it's like you can't beat it, you know what I mean? So it, it's, um, it, it's really just a different kind of connection. And... I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it for the world, man. You know? By the way, was that your dad holding the mitts? That was my dad, yeah. Holy smokes, your dad is, uh, is quite the buff man. That's what I was saying, man. Yeah. Guy oh, I didn't guy. realize that was your dad. Yeah. Yo, I don't want to cross your dad. He nah, looks yo, intimidating. He yes. He can, did he, did, did he box professionally? He, not professionally. He did when he was younger a little bit, but he can, he can move, man. Can How old's your dad? He's, uh, 40, he's 44 now. He looks so. fantastic. Yeah. Holy smokes. Yeah. Uh, is he a tough coach? Does he get on you? Yeah, he's a tough coach. He does. Coach. Like, but you need that, you know, you need that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> By the way, uh, I, I, I'm sure you hear this um, comparison, especially with the way you hit mitts and how quick you are. There's a lot of Ryan Garcia in you, right? Because you're young, you're a good looking kid, you're quick. Do you, do you like that comparison or do you not like that comparison? You know, I'm, I'm my own person, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? It's like, I, I do what I do and he does what he does. So, you know, he's, he's a great fighter and, um, you know, big props to him, but I'm my own person and I, I think, you know, we fight very different, you know? It's, different styles so. okay by the way uh your nickname is wanna wanna yeah why is that what does that mean yeah so when i was younger you know it was always like i want to do this i want to do that i want to achieve my goals and like it was always like i want to be a man and my dad ended up giving me the nickname wanna from that so. okay so do you prefer wanna over javon i like both man okay I like both all right you're not like h Stro. you're just gonna say i want to nah, be wanna nah, you know, right. i like both I okay like uh saturday night obviously you're riding with jake Obviously, yeah. yeah, of course. How does he get it done? What are you expecting? Um, you know, 
Nate Diaz isn't a walkover. He's a, he's a tough opponent, right? And he's uh, accomplished a lot in the MMA game. And um, Jake needs to stick to his game plan. You know, start um, strong early on, throwing in combinations, being explosive, and he'll get the job done well. I think. Do you think he yeah. stops him, or do you think it goes the 10 rounds? It's a 10 round fight, so I mean, it could maybe go to stoppage, but it might. I got a feeling it's distance, man. You know, Nate Diaz, he he can take some shots. Yeah, so. he's a he's a tough guy. Yeah. He's been through it all. He's done it all. I can't wait, and I can't wait for your career as well. So great to meet you for the yeah, first nice time. To meet you too, all man. the best to you. Good luck, and congrats on signing with MVP. Man, yeah, I appreciate it. Thank there you. There so he much. is, the youngster, Javon Walton, Juana Walton, making his pro debut next year. For now, though, how many more? Like 20 more fights we're gonna do in the next year? Oh yeah. That's 20 more about. amateur fights. Check him out. Follow him on Instagram. He's got a gazillion followers. You could be a gazillion in one. Thank you so much. You can just lay, lay down right over here at the awesome. microphone. Awesome. And uh, we'll move along to our next guest. There he is, Javon Walton.